So welcome to Auckland Castle, this majestic building started in 1183 and has been the home of many of the Prince Bishops from that time. And it was started really initially as a hunting lodge and we've got this wonderful deer park that people go around uh, as recreational space today. But they would have been here, they would have been hunting deer, they would have been hunting boar. Uh, and it became a place where when they wanted to take time out from their very heavy uh, uh, tasks as the Prince Bishop they would come here they would entertain friends uh, and spend some time to sort of chill and relax. People like uh, John Cousin came here after the Cromwellian period after the devastation created by Hasserig the governor of Newcastle who really treated the place a bit like a uh, sort of a, a, a play, playboy's den if you like but Cousin came here and restored it and created the new St Peter's Chapel. That's where he's actually buried. One of the most amazing chapels from the 17th century. And later on, Bishop Trevor, he brought in these wonderful paintings by Francisco de Zibaran, the Jacob and the Twelve Sons. And you can come and see that in the castle today. In addition, in the restoration and uh, under the time of Jonathan Ruffer, they've created these new rooms which kind of depict different time periods of the Prince Bishop. So you can really get a feel of what it's like uh, to be a Prince Bishop or a Bishop of Durham in those times. Also today, you can come and visit uh, and go to the magnificent cafe and restaurant facilities. They do create some of the most wonderful food uh, here in the north of England and they're actually using food, uh, the vegetables and fruits that are being grown just across the way on the other side here in the walled garden. So it really is from fork to plate uh, and get a real taste of Bishop Auckland.